lines. But I'm up here today working on this chimney. So I took the uh, top cage off and trying to get it off, it was screwed into the flue. Uh, yeah, it was easy. I just took the flue out. It really wasn't secured. This up here is all crumbling apart. But for now, I'm just gonna put some insulation down in here, put a foam insulation top on here that's 12 by 12, and then I'm gonna just grab one of those tiles for the patio, which are 18 by 18, and put that on top of here. This whole thing is coming out too. I don't know if I should just take it out, but I basically am gonna put a seal of caulk all the way around this. I'm afraid if I take this out that the rest of this will kind of crumble and fall off. You can see it's all cracked. Um, even more so are these top caps here. I mean, you can see the gap. I was able to slide the one off on this side off, uh, but this all needs to be caulked in too uh, to put all this stuff together. So for now, insulation in here uh, and then put a, one of those tiles up on here for now for this year before winter comes just to kind of block it off seal it up there's so many cracks in this thing um i don't think anything more will do so uh, those things are heavy enough and then next year we'll come up here and do whatever we need to do uh, i wasn't interested in taking this whole thing off but uh <laughs> given the state of this we might have to so uh that's where we are i can't really see in here because i'm too short but I just busted this top clay tile apart just to be able to get some depth in here to put that uh, foam in there. Okay, sun's going down here quick. Uh, I just put one of these patio bricks up here for now and used uh, solar steel to uh, kind of caulk it in. Like I said, it ain't pretty, but at least it's done. I can't reach too much to the other side. I put a bunch underneath, um, but uh, that's where we're at. So hopefully this will hold until next year and we'll figure out what we need to do up here. But it's getting dark quick, so I'm getting down off of here.